vacation. Yeah, what is it, GMK? I don't think I feel too good. Well, what do you mean by that? I don't know. I think my tummy hurts a little bit. And I kind of got this burning sensation in my throat. Um, your spines are lit up. Yeah, this is kind of a nonsense. <laughs> Shut up, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Stop. Quick, somebody get this man to Tom's. <laughs> Listen up, Rangers, welcome to the Geek Chess. My name's Steve. My name's Arnaz. And today we'll be going over the Bandai Tamashi Nations SE's Monsters Godzilla 2001. You may know as also GMK, the Heat Ray version. So when this one cries since it's Heat Ray version, or is it going to be Steam? <laughs> um, well, his eyes aren't lit up, so I think it'll be all right. Oh, yeah. I think the skit's going to have something to do with indigestion. <laughs> it's kind of what I was going with. Like, he's really upset that he has heartburn. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't quite figured the gist out yet. That'll be a tomorrow morning kind of thing. Uh, but anyways, the main reason I picked this up is because I thought it was unique enough to pick up for my collection. Because uh, you, you see him like this in the movie at some points. It's kind of weird we don't get a beam, but it's supposed to... <laughs> It's a heat ray version with no beam. Because what this is supposed to be representing is him about to shoot the beam, not actually shooting the so beam. So it's like you just bought a car with no tires. Yeah, well, it still goes vroom vroom. That's a motorcycle, though. <laughs> Close enough, you bought a bike with no rims. Yeah, or headlights. I, I got a bike without the headlights. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh... I thought it was cool. You looked cool. Shut up. Anyways, uh, without further ado for the packaging, you got the Godzilla on the front here with some slashes. The spines are illuminating. Look really bright on the camera. Not sure how it's going to be afterwards, though. Uh, Godzilla on the top. Some more slashes. Side of the badge. Godzilla get a little tail action. Opposite side. Get a little frontal face action. Back of the package just has them in some dynamic poses. I wish the blue looked that good in the mouth. We'll get to that in a second. A bunch of stuff I can't understand. And some diggle mobile jumbo on the bottom. Uh, anyways, let's get them open up out of its cardboard prison. All right, so now that we got GMK open up out of its cardboard prison, first and foremost, like we mentioned, no accessories. Um, why does he look a little different than his box does? What do you mean? He <laughs> looks exactly like the box. You see the spines? They're whites and blues. Uh, I feel like... The box is a lot more bluish. Uh, actually, if anything, the, it's a little, yeah, I was going to say, the color variety is a little bit there. Yeah. But this is also photoshopped. Well, why There's no way the light. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't got the, the technique. Just CGI. It. We'll be good. Get the fudge out of here. We don't make that much on these. <laughs> 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 I wish we did. Uh, but anyways, uh, so how it replicates the look from the package is you'll see here with the spines, we'll just start with the details. Um, but they got a metallic finish to them, like a little bit of a pearl shine to them. So you got the whites on the top here with the blue transitioning. Uh, one thing I would have liked to have seen is a brighter blue. Because uh, without a bunch of lights hitting it, it does kind of blend together fairly well. So it would have been nice, uh, not even a brighter blue, but maybe like a deeper blue. So that the color variety is a little bit different. Um, that, and I don't know what happened, but the airbrushing of this guy is kind of weird because how I like, I do these spitfires. Like if I paint these myself is I take my airbrush and I kind of go around the edges. Like I'll get it in a pose and then I'll airbrush it. And that's usually how I get the gist of things. Um, this looks like it was airbrushed individually because you'll see here on the neck, it has like this row here that's consistent. And then it goes eh with the way the shape of the shoulders are, but doesn't go up the neck like it should. Wait, so they did each individual piece instead of... That's kind of what it looks like. As you'll see here, Yeah. this has way more blue on it than the shoulder has, because if they were airbrushing, this would be on the arm. Uh, it has some on the butt here, but then on the tail, it's kind of there, but it stops. And then stops, starts again. <laughs> But it's not on this side. Like, this side's just missing the blue, period. I want to say that's on purpose because lighting is sometimes is inconsistent looking. But, I don't know, it just kind of throws me off for a little bit. It's kind of like the same with the inside of his mouth. Is on the Whoa. package, 
it looks super bright. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure there's no white inside of my uh, GMK's mouth. It's just blue. Not yet. I'm not painting it. <laughs> I you said painting, Steve. God, you're so slow sometimes, Steve. You're supposed to be on top of these god-awful jokes with me. GMK, white mouth, god. It's like dealing with a kid here. And this is why he cries. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, not again! <laughs> anyway, or Ernest! But anyways. Um, so yeah. Uh, the, the thing about the Spitfire look is like the back looks fine. But if we're going to make him look like he's about to shoot a beam, I kind of need that to be a little bit brighter looking than it is. Because you even see it like the bottom of the mouth. It just tapers off. Like there's actually no blue there. But on the roof of the mouth there is... So, yeah, it's definitely very inconsistent the way the Spitfire coloring scheme is on this one in particular. Uh, closer details we'll go over them fairly quickly um, for the rest of the figure because we've already technically reviewed this guy before, but uh, he is a little darker in coloring. He's definitely got more of a black scale to him, but there's only like a little bit of dry brushing here and there for some of the grays. It's definitely uh, painted oddly. Yeah, it's definitely like all over the place. Like you'll see like the nails here. Got a little bit of a gray paint job to them. Same with the toes here, which are still gigantic. And look fairly solid. But for the rest of the kaiju, it's pretty much just black. Black on black all the time. Uh, for his eyes, you do get the blank soulless like dead fish eyes. With this nice like metallic shine to them. Which, I always really liked the way that the monsters did the GMK eyes. I thought they always looked really nice. Teeth are, are done in a bone coloring. Uh, detailing on the face is a little bit more stylized than what you got with the GMK suit in the film. Like, he's definitely... To me, it looks better proportioned. Yeah, would be a nice way of saying it. Because the way the jaw kind of goes, it's not nearly as straightforward as quite I remember from the suit in the film. But he's got some chunky cheeks, though. He does. Rest of the body, he's got a little bit of like that weird curvature for the head and the neck that's fairly typical for the GMK suit. Chest looks nice. Uh, where you got the scaling pattern here done more. Uh, crocodilian with the square plates all over the place. But then it kind of transitions into the more traditional scaling. Like you see a lot of the other Godzillas with the more wrinkly wave patterns. Yeah, it's got some muscles on his legs. His kneecaps are calloused. So he's definitely on it. Maybe you were right about that. <laughs> 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 Anyways, uh, tail's a little bit on the slim side, but that's kind of how it was on the original figure too. But what's nice about that is, is it can hold its pose very well. Uh, see what the dorsal spines look really nice too, although... On the top here, it's got a weird bend to it. Is that normal, or is that just yours? I don't know. Find out for the comparisons. I actually have to go grab them. Because I think the only one I got down here is the shin currently. So we'll get to that here in the near future. But anyways, for his articulation, his head can go up about, yay, about that far. Down about this far. Uh, one thing I know is playing around with this guy a little bit is uh, his head does like to pop off pretty easy. If you don't articulate it right because i was trying to get them back he's trying to do it but it's not working out right well there you go uh but it likes to pop off at the base here if you move it wrong so you kind of got to grab it at the base and then kind of shift it what's <laughs> the matter with you steve but you can see to get them to shift side to side a bit but it takes a bit of effort on a high note this one's hands don't pop off nearly as easy as the other one so that's cool uh, but his arm <laughs> his arm uh this actually was off on the package uh during our unboxing video i opened him up and his arm just was like clean just hanging on the bottom of the box <laughs> neat uh but his arm go up about that far no about that far you go rotate it forward and back it's got a nice little bend at the elbows hands can rotate all the way around got a little hinge to them uh for the stomach region you get him down about that far but you do get a quite a bit of gappage up about that far legs can go outwards about yay far so he does 
pretty decent splits. And we're just about that far. He can almost he can touch his toes. Almost. Oh, almost you he can. Standing. You gotta do a standing man. Just gotta bend his tail. His feet are big enough, we should be able to figure this out. It's just a balance game. There you go. As Godzilla's touching his toes now, spell run, Godzilla. <laughs> oh no. But really nice bend at the knee. Feet can rotate. Got a bit of a wiggle to him. Same with the tail. Can go side to side quite a bit. Up about that far. And down about that far. After some comparisons here, we have the Heat Ray GMK compared to some other SH Monsters figures with the originally released GMK. And the Shin Godzilla, which one thing I do want to bring up that we mentioned up previously in the video, uh, the spines definitely have the same kind of curvature. It's a little more exaggerated on the uh, Hebrew version, but still there. Hey, here's right next to some Bandai vinyls with the Bandai Creation GMK Ghidorah and the large vinyl GMK Ghidorah from Bandai. Hey, here's some random Godzilla collectibles with the Treadmasters 1998 Nuclear Strike Godzilla. And the Toy Vault Baby Godzilla plushie. Here's some NECA Godzilla figures, well, sort of, with the uh, Spitfire uh, GMK Godzilla and the custom uh, Super Godzilla that I'm currently working on, which was originally a 1989 Godzilla. Here's some random NECA comparison series with the leather back figure from Pacific Rim and the Raphael from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutagen Door Collection. So overall, for the SH Monster Arts Heat Ray GMK, this guy's fine. There's a lot of inconsistencies with a paint, I guess would be the worst thing that bugs me. But it's not as bad as he's missing it. a beam. Would be like the most odd, disappointing thing. Yeah, like he definitely should have came with a beam. That's usually a lot of my points with these Godzillas. Should have came with a beam. This one, more so because it has the effect. It's kind of like with the poster version. Not poster, um... The con exclusive 2019 that's blue, yeah, but doesn't have the beam for reasons. And this guy kind of falls in the same boat. Now, what's nice is this guy currently is a lot cheaper to pick up than the original release. So really? if you missed out on the original release, oh, never mind. Then this guy those. is probably the one to pick up then, just to, so you have a Monsters GMK in your collection. And it's still easily one of my more favorite GMK figures. Like it's definitely better than the NECA. The Bandai vinyls are cool, but I still prefer this one a little bit better. Like, unless you're getting up into X pluses, is really the only, I think, higher standard figure than what we got here currently. So, yeah, if you're missing a GMK in your collection for Monster Arts, definitely grab them. If you just like the suit, I'd still recommend them. Uh, but just before I warn, um, not sure how the inconsistencies work on every single figure. Could just be mine having the weird bluing going on with it. But he's still going to look cool on your shelf. Yeah. What do you guys think? If you guys picked up this figure, what's your favorite monster from GMK or is Millennium just more your thing? Please let us know in the comments. We also have an Instagram, Patreon, Pinterest, Facebook. Guys, look to keep up with the day with channel and donate. We greatly appreciate it. And help us defeat those guys just by hitting that like button. Subscribe and come around your day. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.